Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group and today we're going to do a short video on loading the Communication Manager 5.2.1 Kernel Service Pack. Kernel Service Packs for Communication Manager 5.2.1 First, Kernel Service Packs are not available on all releases. The first Kernel Service Pack was for CM 5.2.1. Kernel will always be in the name of the security update, just like we have below Kernel in the patch name. You can load a kernel update on top of another. When you activate it, the server will reboot, so it'll always be service impacting to Simplex servers. You have to commit the kernel update. We're going to support.divide.com under Communication Manager, select the Downloads, and then select it the CM 5.2.1 SES 5.2.1 Kernel Service Pack 4. And you come to this page. This is where we download our software. Also gives a description. You can see kernels in the name, and it's about 26 meg, and PCN 1692. You want to read it. It gives you some very good information. As you can see, we're in the CM Linux shell, logged in as Craft. I generally always like to start in the Linux shell, uh, basically because as a remote engineer, you have a much more familiarity with it. And once you know the command structure, it's a little faster. Though you'll see the same information we can get from the web pages. So the first thing I always like to do is find out what the software version type is. So we enter SW version. At that point, I can see that we have release 15.02.1.016.4, which is 5.2.1, which is really what I'm looking for. I want to make sure that we're on the right release for the kernel service pack for 5.2.1. So we're great there. The other thing I see as I look down, I see we have service pack 11, 19308, activate it. And the last thing I like to do before I log out of the Linux shell is check my processes. I type stat app. And all my processes are up, which is great. This is what I want. If one was down, I would check to see if it was used, or if it's broke, I would fix it before going to the kernel service pack. We're in the CM web pages, log in as craft. We're entering the craft password. Log on. Yes, suppress alarm origination. Scroll to administration. Select server maintenance. Scroll to the bottom, select download files, click the radio button, files to download from the machine I'm using to connect to the server, browse to the folder where we're keeping the kernel service pack, highlight the kernel service pack, click open, it's on the machine, select download. Successfully downloaded the kernel service pack. Scroll up to server upgrades. Select manage updates. You can see the kernel service pack is there and it's packed. Select the radio button and unpack it. Start the unpacking process. And in a few seconds, command completed successfully. Scroll down and select continue. Kernel service pack is there and it's unpacked. Select the radio button and activate it. Warning, activation of kernel update will cause a reboot. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. Please wait and it starts the process. In about a minute, command completed successfully and it tells us successfully activate a kernel service pack but leaving it in an activating and or deactivating state until about one minute after the reboot. We select continue. At that point, we still have one more thing we need to do, which is to commit it. But prior to that, it has to do a reboot. And you also want to run some base tests to make sure that the service pack is working. So your general test you'd run after any service pack. So now we're going to scroll up to process status. And 
and we click view this will display once and prior to one minute being up after the activation everything still looks okay everything is still up so we're gonna click process status again refresh the page this time view and you see messaging is down so it's gonna start an orderly fashion of shutting down all of the processes. Messaging is the first to shut down as well as it's the last to come up. So after about two and a half minutes of process status running, basically I got what I call this lock state. And I looked back at the machine, I saw it was rebooting. So I clicked process status, which since it's rebooting, it couldn't do anything. It put me in this Internet Explorer screen. So I just went up to the top highlighted my URL and I'm right back in the machine. I click process status again. I'm going to select refresh the page every five seconds and we're going to view it. And you can see all my processes are down. Now it starts the orderly startup of the processes. So it basically goes in order and then CM comes up and in about two to three minutes after CM messaging will come up. As you can see, CM finally came up. And messaging came up about three minutes after that. So all in all, the reboot and all said and done was about seven to eight minutes. Next, we're going to select Manage Updates. Now again, at this time, like I said, you would run whatever base testing you run after any service pack to make sure it's okay. So we're going to select Kernel and we're going to select Commit. Warning, committing update kernel in the kernel name. Do you want to continue? Yes, we do. And it goes through the committing process. Command completed successfully. Relatively quick. At this point, we've pretty much finished loading the kernel service pack. Next thing we want to check is the software version. Generally, I would do this in Linux but we're going to move over to software version on the web pages underneath server. Select software version. And you can see first is the two service packs, one that's unpacked and the other that's activated, service pack 11. And you see underneath that the kernel service pack that is activated. At this point, we have successfully installed the kernel service pack on communication manager 5.2.1. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.